Hey guys, I got a new phone holder, so today you will have a better view of me, but I haven't gotten a new microphone, so I will sit with this on my head for the next few episodes in order to reach a better sound. So we keep traveling across uh, productivity apps and today we are going to have a look at Obsidian. You know, I heard it from many people and I can say it by myself, uh, one of the best habits I ever had is write things down. Every day we have uh, so much information, like from YouTube, we read articles, listen to podcasts, and read books and other stuff, uh, and uh, the most of that information is going to be lost. Even if you find something interesting, uh, if you won't use it like instantly, you will probably forget it really fast and when you really need that information it will be completely lost in the deep corners of your mind. That's why so many note-taking apps and techniques exist. Uh, I use one technique, this uh, is one of the most popular, it's called Zettel Custom. I uh, took three rules from it, I think there are much more. The first one, any idea should uh, have their own separated note. The second one, if two ideas related to each other, they uh, should be linked. And the third, uh, which is optional, uh, every ideas in my knowledge base should be connected to each other, just in order to not lost anything. So let's start from the inbox. Yeah, all things in the world uh, is being started from inboxing. Uh, and I uh, have an insight. Actually, it's a failed question from interview. I had an interview for a software developer. And the question was like, show me the example of polymorphism in JavaScript. And I didn't know what to say. And then I researched it, things out. And now I have a kind of answer. So the insight that I had, I definitely want to save for future interviews or just for future use cases I probably will have and uh, I want to move it to my knowledge base. So I go to my Obsidian, that's actually a simple Markdown basic text editor and I keep all my notes here in like random order or just to, like uh, as a gardener style, I will mention it somewhere here. It was invented by Tiago Forte, I guess. So we're going to start uh, by searching uh, what do I have on polymorphism already. As we can see, I mentioned it uh, once, but the node itself uh, hasn't been created yet, so I'm going to create it. So I'm going to copy paste that insight I have. Uh, integrate template before, just to make it looks uh, a bit uh, better. Uh, actually, that stuff is optional. I just uh, use it in order I don't have any other way to connect node to each other. Uh, so here I probably will add some links. Uh, for example, for JavaScript to link it with my JavaScript node over here. Uh, and uh, I think that's probably it. Also, I have one more link uh, over here. It's a backlink from my object-oriented programming uh, page. So, now I have uh, the new node and I probably will use it in order to get in prepared to interviews, in order to plan in architectures and so on. Also, one of the most fascinating features in Obsidian is dependencies graph. Uh, like here I can see all my nodes and how they link it to each other. I can see some of them uh, doesn't link. And uh, here I can see all the, like the map of all my interests uh, and uh, it's just cool to make it grow you know so that was a pipeline how to add nodes and let's see uh, how I can use it for read nodes uh, let's say I want to keep presentation for my book club about book uh, I read uh, let's say it would be clean architecture so I can search for book clean architecture and um, this is all my insight on the book it's 
really convenient to keep it in one place and I can make a presentation, article or something like that. You might be asking how do I manage my knowledge base uh, if we speak about storage, like uh, is my all of my knowledge base is uh, place it on my computer, on my hard drive and I if I face any issues uh, will I lost all the knowledge base. So there are many solutions of that. The easiest one is Obsidian Sync. Uh, this is sync service provided by Obsidian itself. <coughs> it's uh, like simple uh, sync service like Notion or any other base like Evernote or something. I found another one which is cheaper. It's actually free. It's a plugin which uh, time to time, like I said it in five minutes, uh, sync my a knowledge base with github repository it's uh, very convenient and I, I can have access uh, to my github repository on each uh, device i have not only in obsidian but any markdown based no taking up so this is it this is how i solved that problem uh, so that was my brief obsidian review i want to mention there are a few more apps like that uh, roam research is most popular but i've never tried it uh, pretty paid as I remember and next time I will be back with my more deep clean architecture review yeah not only obsidian note uh, and uh, let's take a look how it will go